makes students poor. And PhD stands for poor, helpless, and desperate. The riskiest thing you can do is go to school, learn from a fake teacher, put your money with a financial planner, and work hard for fake money and pay a lot of taxes. What the Federal Reserve Bank, our banks, and our school system's doing is criminal. It's ripping off my generation, ripping off your generation. You know, this is my book, Fake. The reason it's fake money, fake teachers, and fake assets is because it all has to be fake. You have to have fake teachers to understand fake money. Then you have to have fake assets to buy those stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, fake assets. But without fake teachers, fake money, you can't do it. And one of the best things I had is I went to military school, then I went to flight school. I had such great teachers, you know. All of them could fly, you know, so my flight instructor could fly. What a novel idea. You know, a flight instructor can fly. But when I was in high school, most of my teachers were terrified. They're all cowards, you know. Job security, don't make mistakes. Just memorize the right answer and you'll be safe. In school, they compensate for risk by telling you to memorize the right answer. So in other words, these kids leave school think, oh, if I know the right answers, then there's no risk. And it drives old guys like me crazy. Because everybody's talking about millennials. What's wrong with them? You know, millennials are the most highly educated generation in history. They know all the answers, but they're afraid of doing anything. And the reason they can't do anything is because you might hurt their, somebody's feelings, you might make a mistake. You know, and this just keeps you guys just trapped in this little box. Education is more important than before, but you gotta be careful what you're learning. That's why I wrote the book, Fake Money, Fake Teachers, and Fake Assets. Don't listen to fake teachers. Yeah, I have a friend, he teaches entrepreneurship at UC Santa Barbara. <laughs> and I call him up and I say, how in the world can you teach entrepreneurship? He says, well, I have a master's degree. I said, I ask the question again. What gives you the right to teach your entre entrepreneurship? He says, I have a master's degree in entrepreneurship. And I say, hey, Doug, you and I have been friends for a long time. You've never started a business. You're a fake teacher. He goes, but I have all the answers. I said, yeah, but you don't know how to start a business. Some of the biggest fake teachers are those financial planners. They're telling you to, you know, to save money. Why would you save money when the government's printing money? Then they tell you to invest for the long term in the stock market. And you guys know the stock market is ultra short term. There's high frequency trading. Today, long term is a split second. But they're telling you, guys like my generation, to keep your money in the stock market for 40 years and you have nothing left at the end of it. And you look at all the pensions of the school teachers, firefighters, and all the guys with 401ks. They're all bankrupt because Wall Street stole their money from them. You know? In the Federal Reserve Bank, they're run by PhDs, like my poor dad. And PhD stands for poor, helpless, and desperate. The Fed has not been right in years. Everybody worships the Federal Reserve Bank. They're the guys stealing from our pension systems. It's, it's, it's horrible what's going on because we have all these PhDs, poor, helpless, and desperate people who are risk averse. My rich dad always said, never say I can't afford it. And it was my rich dad and many of my teachers subsequent to that. They said, lazy people always say I can't afford it. I don't have the money. That's why they're poor. They have a poor mindset. So instead of figuring out how to raise money, it's just really easy to be a loser. And I call them losers. It pisses them off. Because we all have the power, if we wanted to, to not be poor if we learned how to raise money. My poor dad, my PhD father, he always said to me, he says, you know, I'd be a rich man if I didn't have you kids. And I said, well, you know, dad, uh, not my fault you had kids, you know what I mean? You know, I just can't afford it because I have kids. And the more he said that, the angrier I got. So when I went, met my rich dad at age nine, you know, he says, well, that's why your old man's poor, because he's lazy. He thinks his PhD is going to carry him. He says, everybody can say, I don't have money, I can't afford it. He says, that's why he's poor. He's lazy. 
over my lifetime, most of the projects I, I've started, I've, I've never had any money. I, I like not having money because it forces me to think, I get creative, I have to educate myself, I have to talk to rich guys, hey, how'd you do this, how'd you do that? And what has happened to me, I mean, I just turned 72, I've never needed money. Because if I need money, I figure out how to raise it. It's easy to say I can't afford it. All the poor people say I can't afford it. All the poor people say, well, it's tax the rich. All the poor people are saying, well, give me a free education, free food, free schooling, free manicures, free pedicures. There's laziness, my opinion. Only lazy people use their own money. And that's what really pissed off a lot of people out there. Because you calling me lazy? I said, yes, I am. Because you're the same type of person will say, I can't afford it. I can't do that. That's the problem. It's up here. It's, I can't do that. Most of my family say, oh, you, I can't afford it. My father taught to say that. My mother taught to say that. My rich dad said, never say that. The number one way to raise income is sales. Do they teach you sales in school? But if you work for a network marketing company, you learn sales. So that's why President Trump, I know people hate Trump, people hate me too. But President Trump and I are the only people that recommend network marketing. Because in network marketing, you have to go through your fear and you have to learn how to sell. So the reason I'm an entrepreneur is I know how to make money, I know how to acquire assets, I know how to use debt to acquire assets. That's real financial education, not the garbage you're teaching in school. Let me say it one more time. If you're gonna be an employee or a doctor or a lawyer, then traditional education is really important. But you're gonna be an entrepreneur, you don't need to.